Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we worked on this beautiful beast right here. This is my 03 Mustang GT that I copped at the auction. It has 62,000 miles now. I got a Cobra bumper on it, Cobra Wallens, and the hood is damaged as well. So I got a replacement hood, even though I got my Cobra hood, but I still want to have additional hood as a GT hood. So I'll be moving over the scoop onto my GT hood, so I'll have two hoods that, that will be painted black. But uh, in today's video, that's not what I want to focus on. This will be a next video where we paint the broken parts, which is coming pretty soon. But today I do want to focus on is the interior. I don't know if you see the airbags we put in there are different shades of, of gray or whatever this is called, charcoal, as you can see, it kind of it, it looks all right, but it, it's not the same. So you it's like an eyesore. So basically what I want to do is I want to change those two things And let me show you the replacements Oh, by the way, this is the paint that I use used dark graphite to paint those inside They do match in different kinds of shades of like sunlight or direct sunlight, but I cop these for um, 50 bucks, so you can't be that and this is Ignore the shine because I just hit it with the armor all and the armor all is kind of like shiny, but the difference is there. So what I want to do is just want to change out those today and see how it looks. It's been bugging me. Every time when I drive it, I look at it, I was like, damn it. But 50 bucks, yo, let's do it. All right, so we're going to start with the obvious one. That's the easiest one is the driver one. So pop this plastic off. like that this side too however I do have a battery off and it's been off for a while and you'll want to do that before you start messing with your bags and then two eights two eight millimeters on the sides this one's off And then this one. And just like this, the airbags come, comes out and there's a plug right here that you gotta unplug and the new one goes in. Here is how it looks when you take it out. But what I want to do is I want to compare them side by side. And you can tell the difference now. Obviously the light gives it away, but yeah, this is this is too much of a gray and doesn't even match the cap. So, all right, so let's put this bad boy in and see how she looks. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks so much better huh? onto the passenger side and that one is a little bit tricky because there are two screws on here all the way in deep in but let's get it done so on the passenger airbag you're gonna have to drop the glove you're gonna have to drop the glove box down and then inside here the far left corner there is gonna be connector but the connector is actually behind a dash metal piece i don't know what, what i would call but you would have to kind of like remove that let me show you in the other one so once you unplug this you have to pop it out otherwise if you don't pop it out you pull the airbag out you're gonna break the cable so now next thing is just unscrewing all right bag. inside the glove box i got my 516s bolt up here so there's one screw right here and the other one is gonna be right over here on top right here actually all right so this is gonna come off and I'll put a new one All 
I had this cruiser off, so let's see. It should just come right off. Table cut. Bam. She is out, and let me show you where she mounts. As you can see, there's like a metal bracket in the back. Two eight millimeters or five sixteenths, whichever one you have. And let's compare. I had to move the car a little bit forward since it was getting tight. But opening the door. But night and day. Like I don't know why, but this one looks even like it's gray. Look at that. All right, the old one goes back in, or they're both old. All right, let's see how much this one matches. Should match pretty good. Make sure the cable falls back. I mean, as you can see, I used the, the shiny armor roll and kind of regret it, but it'll come off. I just gotta plug it in, screw it in, but look at the difference. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Get rid of that shiny crap. Bam. Now I just gotta put everything back together and we'll do a final walk around. So clean the car a little bit. Alright, here goes nothing. light looks pretty good Let me turn that off the car doesn't need to run all right look at that beauty now it matches the whole interior matches it's pretty good compared to what we had here well if you like this video make sure you stay for the next one because in the next one I'm gonna be washing the engine bay and it is really filthy You'll see how bad it is. And like always say, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one.